Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to replace your Wi-Fi antenna on your NR5002 Android head unit. This unit is made from Newsme and I've experienced some problems or interference when it comes to the Wi-Fi antenna. The Wi-Fi antenna on this unit is actually located on the left side, right there, which I'll show you. And it actually do create some interference which you can hear on the speaker and the antenna itself is not that strong or good so what I'm gonna do is replace it and actually connect an UFL to an SMA connector so I can connect an external Wi-Fi antenna I'm just gonna turn the unit on and hopefully you'll hear something So you should have heard something by now. It was a little bit of sound. It's pretty it might be hard to see, um, but I I only have three out of four bars, and I should have five because the router is pretty close. You can also see I don't know if you can see it, but when I'm touching the antenna, okay, it goes up and down. So that's not a good thing. So let's fix that. Here we can see all the tools that you're gonna need. You need an SMA to UFL connector or similarly. You're also gonna need a drill bit. Mine is a 6.5 millimeter which is gonna fit the SMA connector. A screwdriver and drill and your new connector or antenna which I got right there. All, both the connector and the antenna was just bought off eBay. Here we can see the cable is coming inside and it's actually hiding, the connector is actually hiding under some tape. So we're going to remove that and remove the connector. But before that we're going to remove the back plate. The plate is off, but oddly enough, you do actually have a bolt with a nut on the back side. I have no idea why, but we might as well just remove it and maybe even use that for our, for our antenna connector. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to remove the tape. Um, the easiest way is just to drag it off, so that's the worst we're going to do. Oh, you've got to be careful. Seems like, seems like the connector just puffed right off, so let me get that. The old antenna is now out. And Here you can see. So we're gonna replace it with this adapter. This one was just bought off eBay. And it's a female to male connector. So I just removed the nut from the back side and I got a pleasant surprise. It's actually a lot of a lot bigger hole and it actually got cut out. You can see this little groove right there. And imagine what? It fit perfectly with the connector. Look at that. So I guess I'm gonna just gonna go with this one and it all almost seems like it actually pre-made for this. So I'm gonna plug this in here and I'm actually gonna use the screw to actually screw in to this hole right there. It actually got threads and it does fit. So it couldn't have been better. So I've actually gone a step back and actually mounted the plate again since I discovered that I don't need to drill a hole and it fits perfectly. I'm just gonna install the antenna. The cable has now been connected. It was a little bit tricky getting the small connector on but eventually it popped right in. I then put the tape back on and I tried to put the cable as close to any grounding loop like the chassis and it shouldn't interfere with anything especially not the amplifier 
so let's test it out so I've not plugged it in and it's the exactly same setup and the antenna is on top of the speaker so let's power it her up That's what I would call pretty much success. I could hear nothing, and let's look at the Wi-Fi signal. We got full bars. And that's how you remove that stupid sound and get better Wi-Fi on your Android head unit.